And I, I've already explained to you why I've stopped you to speak to you. Okay, well. Okay. So the only reason that I'm trying to speak to you is because you're walking around the police department filming the private private areas of the police department, the back of the building, the front of the building. i got to determine who you are. Well, I've explained to you the law that you need to know, so I'm not really okay. going to talk I'm to you I'm not sure anymore. where you got your criminal degree or your law degree, but I think you might want to get your money back on that one, okay? The Google gods are listening, folks. This morning I woke up and a thought came to mind. Who was the first First Amendment auditor? I initially thought it was Jeff Gray from Honor Your Oath, but Jeff Gray told me he'd heard the unofficial term from Carlos Miller. The more I tried to find out who coined the term, the more I realized how unimportant it was. Only for the simple fact that folks had been recording police before the phrase was even thought of. What is truly mind blowing is that all the whilst this was going on in my head, Google's YouTube recommends this video to me that I had never seen before. This video comes to you from a channel called Bagel Man B. After watching this video, I realized that words and phrases like cop watch and first amendment audit were made up to grab people's attention and make it a phenomenon. It worked. This is the reason many of you are watching now. Many of you haven't seen this video. Some of you have. I had never seen it before today. What I want to point out is how well this man did. He makes this cop look like a rookie before he's made to do the walk and drive of shame. This is the only video on this man's channel regarding police accountability. This video is eight years old. Folks, this video came out three years before I picked up a camera and started recording police. You're not going to believe how well he's versed in the law. Take some notes, folks. This guy obviously took notes before he went out recording police. Go ahead and subscribe to him anyways and let him know I sent you. Here we go, folks. Right now, I'm just asking you some questions. For, for what purpose? For uh, actually filming down back there in our private parking area. Okay, is that a crime? It is right now. Do you have your idea? No, it's not a crime right okay. now. Can you grab your ID for me, please? No. Am I being detained for a crime? Dispatch. We'll be out with a party. Main and Am I being law. detained? Presently, right now. For what? So I can figure out what's going on. That's not a crime. Okay, why don't you grab your ID for me? No. You're refusing to why, don't, why don't you tell me what crime I'm committing? Okay, right now, you're a suspicious party. That's not a crime. It is a crime right now, and I'm trying to figure out what's going on. It's not a crime. Okay, why don't you grab your ID for me All so right. I can identify you? No. You're refusing to be ID'd right now. That's correct. Okay, sit tight for just a second. And your name is Peck, badge number 7099. Are you okay? Are you having a medical condition? This gives me the opportunity to point out one of the most disturbing things that I keep seeing in these police interaction videos. Now keep in mind that I've seen hundreds of videos, if not thousands, regarding police interactions. What I find truly disturbing is that police officers often use their presumed authority and make believe that people may have medical conditions or they are unable to take care of themselves. So they'll call in medical personnel and a lot of times folks are getting taken into custody just because they won't answer questions. This is truly disturbing, folks. This should not be allowed. Keep watching. I'm fine. Okay, because you're shaking quite a bit. Yeah. Are you well, on any drugs right now? I'm talking to an armed guy who's okay, threatening me. Okay, I'm a police me, officer. So, you know, I'm a state certified that's kind police of a officer. Be... I've been threatening you at any point. I'm just trying to determine what's going on. Yeah, you've got your hand on your gun. I have my hand resting on my gun. And you're belt. telling me I'm committing a crime, which I'm not. Okay, you're a suspicious party so right that's... now, so I'm just stopping to speak to you. Well, I'm trying to determine who you are, why you're filming the back area of the police department. That's all I'm doing. Okay, well. You're not. You're refusing to be ID'd right now. You're not going to supply your identification. I'm not going to consent to anything. Okay, I'm not asking you to consent. I'm asking you for your ID so I can verify well, who you are. Well, my answer is no. Okay. You're asking me for it. I'm telling you no. Sit tight for just a second. That's great. Okay, what crime are you detaining me for? You're a suspicious party right now. Because you need reasonable suspicion that right. I'm committing and, and a crime. Right. And what you're, crime? You're a suspicious party right now, wandering around. Okay. Filming a city That's building, fine that you think I'm suspicious, but what crime do you suspect me of committing? Okay, I just explained to you. You can continue to talk in circles. That's, That's not fine. a crime. You told me it's not a crime. I told you that you're a suspicious party who's walking around. But not of a crime. Filming personal Just the guy you don't like. I, I've never met you before. So what do you suspect me of doing? I'm not sure. I'm just what I'm trying to determine right now. Well, you need to have that to be able to detain me. Okay, I'm not sure where so you're So right now you're degree. legally detaining me. No, I'm not. Yeah, you're you are. an investigation. I'm speaking to you. You are illegally detained me. Okay. If you're just conducting an investigation, I can go. You but you told right me now. I'm being detained. No, you, you are while I conduct an investigation so to try to determine you need a who crime you are. that you suspect me of committing. Sir, I'm not going to talk over you. I'm going to explain to you what's going on right now. I and mean, I'm just explaining you should know the law. You're a police okay. officer. And I, I've already explained to you why I've stopped you to speak to you. Okay, well. Okay. So the only reason that I'm trying to speak to you is because you're walking around the police department filming the private private areas of the police department, the back of the building, the front of the building. I got to determine who you are. Well, I've explained to you the law that you need to know, so I'm not really okay. going to talk to you Okay, I'm not sure anymore. where you got your criminal degree or your law degree, 
but I think you might want to get your money back on that one, okay? Whoa, the cop asks him where he got his law degree. But folks, I seriously doubt that the cop has a law degree himself. You see, in many of our videos, we show that police officers don't even know the First Amendment of the Constitution. And they'll be the first ones to tell you that they don't know all the laws, that there's too many laws in the books for them to know them all. And get this, folks, they only need six months training to become a police officer. They don't need a law degree. Hardly any of them have any type of law degree. Keep watching. Sit tight for just a second, sir. This is Officer Schreiner. What's your badge number? 8666. How you doing? What's going on today? Are you alright? You're shaking a lot. Okay. Do you have identification on you? Are you a resident of Middletown? Sir? Are you suffering from a medical condition? Are you physically okay right now? It's, just, it's a simple question. Was he in the back hall? Yeah, he was actually right up on the, uh, the back side, one floor down the lower arcade. Uh, oh, we got a real disaster here. You know why we're making contact with you, sir? Sir, do you, are you aware why we're making contact with you? I already informed Officer Peck that I wasn't going to speak to you anymore, so... I, I didn't hear you say that. I apologize. I missed, well, I missed you when you said that. I made it pretty clear. Did Please. you hear what happened in Meriden not too, not too long ago? Sir, did you hear what happened in Meriden not too long ago? I already informed Officer Peck I'm not going to speak to you, so if you have something to say to me, fine, but I'd like to be on my way. We'll be on your way in a second. I just want to explain to you why we're talking to you. Okay? Did I do that with you? About three weeks ago? Someone shot about 9 to 15 rounds off in the back of Marion Police Department. Hit cruisers, hit the building. All right, it kind of heightens our awareness a little bit about people being around the back lot when it's unsecured and we have people coming in. All right, that's why we're All right, it's the only reason I'm talking to you. I'm aware you didn't do anything. That's fine. Have a good rest of your day. Okay. You are aware that you took an oath to uphold the Constitution? You just violated my constitutional rights? You're required to suspect me of a crime before you detain me? Are you aware of that? Yes. So, uh, what crime did you suspect me of committing? Do you feel bad when you violate your oath? You swore an oath to protect the, us and to uphold the Constitution. Do you feel any guilt when you don't uphold that oath? What about you, sir? What's your name and badge number? Officer Maturo. Do you feel guilt when you violate people's constitutional rights? You took an oath to honor the Constitution. How do you feel about that? This video was out freaking standing. I absolutely loved the fact that he was asking them if they felt guilty for violating people's rights. I mean, I think we all know the answer to that. I think they're taught in the academy to not feel anything anymore for the people. They're made to believe that all the people are criminals. They're taught nothing about the First Amendment in the academy, which is absolutely mind-blowing. It makes no sense why they wouldn't teach them that. It makes all the sense in the world to teach police officers the First Amendment. It is the first law of the land. And what's even more confusing is that the people are not really trying to learn it either. Why, folks? Why don't you care about your human rights? The Constitution was written to protect your human rights. The Constitution was written to limit the scope of authority that these public officials have over you. Well, it's no wonder that they don't want you to know it, but you should be the first person to educate yourself on what your rights are. I'm going to go ahead and help you with that, folks. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell. You have a freedom of religion. You can pray to any God or no God. You have a freedom of speech. You can say whatever you'd like to say without fear of prosecution. You have the freedom of press to record and document everything you see in public and even ask questions. 
You have the freedom to assemble with friends and family, talk about what's happening in government. And if you find something wrong, you have the freedom to petition your government. You're welcome to get signatures and let your government know that what they're doing is wrong. Thank you guys all for tuning in. Make sure you subscribe to Bagel Man B. Let them know I sent you. I'll see you guys over there. Peace.